A strong gust of wind blew through the canopy of a tree, knocking a branch to the ground. Once a part of nature's beauty, the stick was devastated to find itself lying useless on the ground. The stick lay there silent, wondering what will become of it. Feeling abandoned, its pain grew into anger. Its future was now uncertain. A young lad hiking through the countryside discovered the stick. Feeling the weight of the wood in his hand, the boy tossed a stone into the air and took a mighty swing. The stick made contact with the stone, whacking it into a neighboring field. The brutality made the stick feel powerful. After the assault on several stones, the boy tired. He dropped the stick and continued on his way. Days later, an old woman who was out enjoying the fresh air stumbled upon the stick. She had been battling the tall grass on her walk and thought the stick would serve as a good weapon against the reeds. She began striking down the vegetation with the stick, making her way through the brush. When she approached a clearing, the woman threw down the stick and proceeded on her journey. The stick was beginning to think it had found its calling. As night began to fall, a thief passing through spotted the stick. It gave him an idea. The thief was envious of the wealthy merchants in town and decided to use the stick to assault one of them and steal his money. One shop owner was working late when the thief entered his business. The gentleman was hard at work and didn't notice the intruder. The thief raised the stick and clubbed the man over the head, knocking him unconscious. The thief gathered up the shop owner's fortune and ran away. As the stick stared at the beaten man, it was overwhelmed with the feeling of shame for what it had become, a weapon of hate. Stained with the shop owner's blood, the stick asked itself, What has led me to display such violence? When the man awoke, he was stunned and unable to rise quickly. Once his vision cleared, he saw the stick. The man took the stick and used it as a cane to get to his feet. The stick felt the shop owner's secure grip and did its best to steady him. Together they made their way to a small stool where the man could rest. It was then that the man realized the stick's role in the attack. He reached for a cloth and tried to wipe the blood away. The stick wept. The man examined the stick closely and saw beauty and potential in it. The man, a master at his trade, began to chisel away the rough old wood to expose the grains deep within. The stick asked, Is it possible to become more than I am? The man smiled. When you embrace all your imperfections, you will find beauty, he explained. You are enough. When the man completed his work, the stick had been transformed into a beautiful wooden fife. It had become what it was intended for, an instrument of peace and beauty.